Good morning ladies and welcome to week three of 42 layouts in 42 weeks. This week we're going to have kind of a two-part series. Um, first I'm going to show you how to make a paper piecing and then um, the next video we'll do the layout uh, that'll go with these pieces um, and with this paper piecing that we're doing. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this. Um, the pictures that I pulled out for this week's layout are um, some pictures of my daughter and one of her friends in preschool when they met uh, Clifford, the big red dog. So um, what I decided would be nice is since there aren't any embellishments on the market for Clifford, um, we're going to make our own. So I printed off a picture of Clifford. I don't know if you can see him. Here you go. There you go. So I printed it off the internet, um, cut it down to the size that I wanted, and now I'm going to cut out Clifford and we're going to get started on how to do that paper piecing. Okay, now that we've got Clifford um, cut out of the coloring sheet, I'm going to go ahead and trace him down here on um, on my cardstock. Now, the thing is, is um, you can pretty much cut him out the way he is, or you can kind of improvise and make the different pieces. If you make different pieces, you can actually um, make certain pieces move if you decide you want to. So like the tail, for example, I'm not sure that I want it to be quite up like this. So what I'm going to do is just trace the outline of the tail. And if you draw, you can draw this by hand. Um, usually I would probably try to freehand it personally. Um, but just because everybody doesn't know how to draw or doesn't want to waste their time doing that, I thought I'd show you this way. Okay, so I traced the outside of the cartoon page or the coloring page. And now this is where the tail um, stops on the body. But what I want to do is make it a point so that I can go back later and if I want it to move, I can make it move. So I just kind of added a little extra piece to that tail. Um, just so when I cut it out, I know where to cut at. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and just trace him and then um, we'll cut him out and we'll go from there. Okay, so now that I have Clifford cut out, I think what I want to do is I want to add um, a black shadow. That way it'll kind of help him stand out a little bit and give him a little more dimension. So I'm going to go back and trace that as well. Um, but what I think I want to do is instead of going back to the cartoon picture, or, you know, the coloring picture, I'm going to just trace the outside of mine. That way I can make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and I'm just going to cut right on the outside of those lines, um, but I do want to cut it out of the page first. And if you have like a Cricut or a cutting machine, this would be basically making the shadow um, of the outside of your piece. Okay, 
So now that we've got our shadow piece and our red piece, I'm going to put the two pieces together. I'm going to go ahead and glue um, these two down. And then I'll add the details to Clifford on his face and stuff. And then go back and cut out some other pieces. So I'll just glue this down real quick. And that is our first step. And making our paper piecing. Uh, the glue that I just glued that down with I, is Zig Memory System. It's a two-way glue, so when it's blue, it's um, um, permanent, I think, or re excuse me, when it's blue, it's repositionable, and then when it's clear, it's permanent. So um, this will dry, and it will be permanently stuck there. Okay, so then here's our tail. Kind of need a shadow for that as well. So we'll just um, that glue you can pick up at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, somewhere like that. Um, it's not real expensive. I think it's like two dollars a stick or three dollars a stick, but it works really well, especially when you're dealing with the paper piecing um, kind of things because these pieces are so small sometimes, which you'll see shortly. Okay, so then I'm going to use my two-way glue, put that down, um, another thing you can do is use your scraps when you're making um, something like this because you really don't need a whole lot at one time and um, it'll save your paper, but I just didn't have any scraps up here right now. They're all down at the shop. So we're just going to use what we have. Okay. So there is my tail. So now I just need to get a brad and then his tail will go up and down. Yay. Okay. So the next thing I need to do is make a collar for Clifford. As well as um, apparently he's got a lower jaw that's going to need to be put on there with his tongue. So the collar itself, I don't think is that big of a deal. So we're just going to, again, improvise. Just cut two pieces off. Figure out which size fits. Mark it. And then cut it again. Okay, so that took care of the easy part there. Okay, ladies, so um, if you're just getting tuning in, what we've done is we started with um, a picture of Clifford, just like this. We went ahead and cut him out and um, made us the shadow figure and our base figure. We also made ourselves the shadow of the tail and the base tail and um, a collar for around his neck. So the other thing I did was I went and I cut his face and legs into pieces. And the reason for this is because it adds more detail the more layers you put on your paper piecing. So I took the, this ear here and cut it out. I cut out this foot here because it's the longest of the two. And I can make two of those. And then I cut out this hind leg. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make two legs, two ears, his back leg, um, the lower part of his jaw, and then his upper part of his head, and then um, the eyes and the nose on the black paper. Um, so I'm going to do that, and I'll be back to talk to you in just a sec. Okay, so I went in, I got my ink pad. Um, I picked up a black one. This one's a close to my heart ink pad, so this one's black. I'm going to go ahead and erase the pencil lines off of this piece. Um, or these pieces and then sit here and piece it together so as I piece it together you'll kind of see what's going on but the other thing is is I wanted to add a little extra detail to this so I'm going to chalk around the edges just using my black ink pad and it might give it a little like there I got kind of messy it just adds that just adds more texture it looks like he's been outside playing or whatever a little more detail makes it a little more realistic and a little bit like what something you'd pick up in the store and so as I go and I put these pieces together, I'm going to go ahead and glue them down. And um, I'll be back to talk to you at the end.
Okay, now that I've got all the pieces glued together, what I'm going to do is go back with my pencil and trace or draw in some lines that I think would add a little extra definition. And then I'll go back over with my um, uh, fine tip marker in black. So, like, here's part of the nose. So, we'll put that there. And then the bridge of the nose kind of went up around this eye. So, I can scoot that eye a little more in before it dries completely, hopefully. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Okay, he's got some eyebrows right there, and then some hair pieces that kind of shoot out like that. Um, right here. Okay, um, the inside of this is black, so we'll go back and do that. Up here, a little bit of definition on the tongue. Okay, ladies, here is our before and after shot. I hope you enjoyed making paper piecing with me today, and um, I hope to see you again in a few hours on our video with our layout.